it's time to say goodbye to these. We've been camping a lot more lately at places that have gravel, dirt, crushed granite, that kind of stuff. These kinds of pads are good for putting underneath your stabilizers to take up the uneven space, but they're kind of a hassle. And after a couple days, I noticed that the camper still feels kind of shaky. So picked up a set of snap pads, gonna try to figure out how to install these on our Airstream. Also got one for the tongue jack. So let's get into it. Let's see what's in the box. Questions, concerns, don't return, call us first. So our 2023 Airstream International has the kind of jack that you put a drill on and it lowers down, looks like a five and a half inch square pad on the bottom of it. Looks like those are gonna snap right into here. Thus the name snap pad, I guess. All right, that's all that's in the box. No instructions, so let's check it out. Okay, I got to get my drill, get these stabilizers up to be able to give it a try. In case you are wondering, these uh, Airstream stabilizers take a three quarter inch socket. You can just put it on a cordless drill and use it. They always come with a tool too, but I find this to be faster to use a power tool. So like I said, ours is a 2023 Airstream International. I've heard that as your Airstream gets older and the more you camp on gravel lots and stuff like that, the more the feet on your stabilizers get bent up which can make it more challenging to put these snap pads on. One of the reasons that I went ahead and got them while well, ours are still in pretty good shape. So let's give it a try. All right, I guess the first thing I'm just gonna try is to kind of force this thing on here and see how tight it is and see if I'm gonna need any kind of lubricant or anything like that. I'll try to hook it on one side and then bring it up here. Well, let's try, let's try this side. I'm trying to like bend it down to get it over this lip. I wonder what would happen if I push the stabilizer down into it. <laughs> I actually got it started, but I'm off. I need to move it back. Like that's getting a little too tight there but maybe i got it started enough now two sides on three sides on one left to go where's my screwdriver give it a little bit of love here oh yeah I think if I do that a couple times, we'll be good to go. Oops, wrong way. Try this method again. Nope.
might need to use two screwdrivers at the same time. I mean, that's getting up over there. Move this camera around for you. This side is doing good. I feel like we're almost there. Oh, there we go. We're in. Okay, we'll see if the next one goes any faster now that I've learned. That's the way these projects go. You always, by the end of it, when you have multiple things to do, you get pretty good at it. Running the uh, stabilizer down into the pad did help me on that last on that last one. So I'm going to try it again. A hey, buttons. You gonna help me? You gonna help me? Thank you. Get it nice and centered. Not helping at all on this one. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's see what we can do. This one's tight down here. I guess you want it to be tight so it doesn't fall off when you're driving. All right, so I got two, get the camera, two sides, almost three sides. That works pretty well, that grab and, grab and roll method. Now I gotta work the front edge here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. This method works. Oops, boy, I was worried about stabbing myself like that. Okay. All right. Number two went even faster. All right, let's move on. When I went to order these snap pads, they were actually out of stock, so they must be doing pretty good. So if you're thinking about getting them, don't wait until the last second. Make sure they have enough in stock if you're thinking about it. All right, we're just going to use the same method since it seems to be working. One side on. Two sides. Kind of dark in here, making it more challenging. Maybe I'll try working up here where it's light. Oh, jeez. Don't ever have your hand in front of a screwdriver. End your day quickly. It's like I want to just like push it in, but it's too tight. There we go. Get a little bit of progress. Oops. A little bit of progress. A little bit. <sighs> Maybe I will try to drill this one down a little bit, see what happens. Ooh, that helped. Maybe a little bit of progress there. Almost. All right, over here. Are we on there? Not quite. All right, here's the problem. Number two is the fastest so far. Just doesn't want to go on there. Feels like it's all the way on over here. Oops. Yeah, that's on. I think I might need to do two screwdrivers at the same time. Oh. 
ta-da. Both at the same time. All right, all four of the snap pads are installed on the stabilizers. Now I need to install the one on the tongue jack, which is gonna require me going to get my truck and taking the weight off the tongue, so stand by. This is the Proven Industries tongue lock for the Airstream. Best tongue lock you can buy. If you don't know how to use it, I've got a video for that too, so check it out while you're here. Sometimes I think I'd like to get a second receiver for this truck just for this kind of stuff where I'm not actually towing so I don't have to lug around this giant blue ox weight distribution hitch. All right. Here's a little tip I've learned the hard way. We don't need to talk about that though. As you get your truck close to your trailer, get out. Make sure your hitch height is right for your ball. Also, don't forget to always raise your stabilizers before you start raising and lowering your tongue jack. Looks like my stabilizers are getting a little too close. I need to raise them up even higher. All I'm looking for here is for the tongue jack to get high enough for me to get these blocks out. All right, that should do it. Let's turn off the truck. Diesel is expensive. All right, this one came boxed up separately. This takes the six inch diameter tongue jack pad. <laughs> Did this one come with instructions? Step one, line up the pad beneath your jack. Step two, lower the foot until the flip fully engages. Step three, repeat. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. Another reason I thought these uh, snap pads would be good is just because it's thicker. So I have to use less of these blocks when you get to a campsite that's uh, you know really unlevel. I feel like the less of these things that you can use and the shorter you can keep your tongue jack, the more stable it will be. So that's another reason I thought these were cool. Let's raise this up the rest of the way. Try to get it centered. Centered both on here and on here. That's the plan anyway. Let's see how I did. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. By the way, I know the tongue weight of my trailer is like 1,100 pounds, so I imagine that amount of weight pushing into this will help a lot. <laughs> well, there you go. It popped right in. That felt pretty secure. All right, I guess that's all there is to do on this. I'll just disconnect the trailer from the truck and all we go. After I use these things for a few trips, I'll make a review about them, but there you go. That's how you install these suckers. If you like fitness content, if you like Airstream content, camper content, you're in the right place. Make sure you like this video and subscribe before you go. Have a good day.